Good afternoon, my friends. I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Chris, and you're watching Lehigh Valley Back to Business. And today is a beautiful spring day here in April in Eastern Pennsylvania. I'm gonna be showing you how my new runner cutter works to cut the runners on the strawberry plants. Let's get into that video. All right, guys, so I'm very excited to come to you in this video to show you my brand new runner cutter for the strawberries in case some of you don't know i'm going to go through a little uh, lesson of how strawberry plants actually grow so when we plant them they're just one single plant they do not look like this it's just one single plant over the course of time they shoot what are called daughter plants or runners that's all this now last year in the fall it was all green now it does die off in the winter but what this does is it takes away energy from the actual plant to produce this season from last year. So strawberries don't produce in the season they're planted, they produce in the season, the season after. So what these daughter plants do is they grow over the side, they start growing in the soil off the mulch. And then they also just take a lot, a lot of energy out of the plant which reduces your berry size and your quantity of berries per plant. What we used to do is we'd have to cut all of these by hand. It takes about 30 to 40 man hours per acre to cut runners. You have to do runners two to three times per season. So you can do the math of the cost involved just doing per acre uh, pricing and labor. So what this is gonna allow us to do, as you can already see, I ran it through here. See how it cut it here? All right, that's, and then I'm gonna come back the other way. It's gonna cut here. And then we're gonna take our new sweeping machine and we're gonna sweep it right off. That we took the same thing we used to take the straw off, we're gonna use to take the uh, debris and runners off. Now ideally, it is not supposed to look like this in the spring. We are supposed to have had this nice and clean going into the winter. We should have cut these last fall. Unfortunately, I did not have any labor available to me to cut these off. And I am certainly not going to do this myself because you are standing bending over the first uh, for the whole time. Um, and it's just not feasible for one person to do all this uh, acreage that I have. So there are approximately 15,000 plants per acre. So I've got about 50,000 plants out here and they all produce runners. We're gonna show you how this new machine works. It's very exciting. Like I said, it's taken years for me to be able to afford this machine. It's very, very expensive. It actually comes from Europe. Uh, nobody in the United States makes a machine like this. So trying to automate the process, considering I'm just a single operator farmer here, and just like all the other things that you see uh, online, everybody's trying to automate as much as possible. This won't drive itself, but it's good enough for me. So I was able to use and test out my new runner cutter and one thing I did notice was each one of these goes up and down but it does not ride on anything so one of the things i noticed was if you have any irregularities in your bed it digs into the bed and cuts your plastic so we're going to make some modifications so What's that modification gonna be? Well, I can't believe for the cost of this machine that nobody thought about making these so that they go with the contour of the ground. So it doesn't dig into your plastic because I don't care how good you are at laying plastic and how good your ground is, that plastic is never perfectly straight. And now with those awesome cuts I have in my plastic, guess what's gonna happen? I'm not really worried about the plastic or the plants. All the weeds are now gonna grow in those spots. And that's really gonna tick me off because I really, really hate weeds. So, my idea is to make it so that a wheel will attach 
and then we'll ride along the plastic and then it will contour, it will make this go up and down and contour with the ground so if there's a high spot in the bed of the row, it's because what happens is this just starts digging in and then it pulls the plastic up into this blade and then you have all kinds of problems. And that should, with some adjustment, is just going to be able to make that contour up and down with the ground, hopefully. That's the goal, we'll see. Here we go. minutes or so I fabbed up this metal piece cut out the slide so I can adjust it drilled holes mounted it so now this will ride and if you hit a high spot it'll push it up so that this doesn't dig in and chop up my plastic so hopefully that'll work I got two more blades to do and uh, we'll take it out see if it works So on the path that way, we cut going down this way. On the way back, we're cutting along here. So you can see it's cutting there. So then when I, look at that, comes right out. The brush will take this out. There's a lot of debris here. So it's probably having a little bit harder time and not doing as clean of a job as if there was just runners here, like during the summer, right after renovation and then later on in the fall when it's just plants. Right now it's straw and everything else and so it's not quite getting as clean but it will work and it's going to work nice. I'll be bringing videos of that. So like I said before, 30 to 40 hours per acre, man hours per acre. This is going to do an acre in two hours. Uh, that's cutting and sweeping. Quite a, quite a difference, I would say. Uh, well worth waiting for and well worth the price. All right, so I just wanna show you what it looks like after we do the cutting of the runners and then doing another sweep with the sweeper. So as you can see, it's looking real nice down the middle. It's looking good on the outside. You can see everything's cut all nice. Cut in the middle. So, pretty excited. This will work even better once we're actually doing it at the time of year. You're supposed to be doing it without all this extra debris in it. All right, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. We got a lot more content coming. If you like what you see of all the farming stuff, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you next video.